Rocket League Twitch stream. I haven't seen you all in a while, but uh, nice playoffs are happening, and AC Black is playing in round one right now against UT LSJV if they uh, load in this lobby.
Hope everyone is having a fine day. It's going to be a best of seven here. A lot of Rocket League. <laughs> they have shown up. We have o Oasicle, Tobol, and Gerardo. Apparently they're all pretty high ranked, so this might be a tough match for Black, but... Uh, well, to uh... There we go, getting it underway. I believe this is a the round of uh, 16, I believe. Let me double check that. Um, no, this is a round of eight. Oh, okay. Even less than I thought, so. Yeah. Round of eight, so if they win this, then they move on to round of four. As Tobol scores the first goal of the game. It was a really good pass. Deathwell couldn't quite get it. I believe Luna committed on that. Basically, an open net to shoot on. You have a feeling this is going to be a bit of a tough match for ASU Black, but we'll see how it goes. We have Lux now. Missed with the ball as Tobol sends it back up to Wasicle. Luna clears it out, Deathwell down the pitch now. Gerardo's gonna catch it. Trying to keep it in this corner. All of AC Black though, choosing to kind of commit on that play. A little bit dangerous rotations there. Gerardo gets the sound midfield to Tobol. Gets it up the wall, Deathwell gets it around them though. Wiskill's gonna keep this out of his box though, is AC Black have a solid offense. Luna keeping it in. Double gets it to his corner. Luna taps it up. Wasteful getting it out. Lux putting mid decibel and couldn't quite get the one on net. Pops it up for Luna. Not able to get that one on net either. Seems like they've had decent offense. Just can't really shoot on net. So Wasteful. Gets a 50 with Decibel in the midfield. Tobol might have another chance here. Decibel now. Just sends it downfield for Lux. Can't do anything with it. Gets a demo on the last man. Decibel's worth of 50 is Lux. His touch goes a little bit awry. Michi Dallas just still managing to have possession, even though AC Black is putting up some shots, it seems. Uh, one shot. <laughs> one actual registered shot, but they, they've been having attempts and opportunities, but they're not really doing much to tie this game up. Decibel with that. Lux has a shot, but it's immediately blocked up by Wasicle. That's what gets it around Tobol. Lux putting it mid. That's what leaves it for Luna. It's good fake. And I believe that's what gave Luna the ability to shoot that on net here. Wasteful probably thought Decibel was going to get that and then too late. Realized Luna had it and couldn't quite jump up to get it. Half the game left. It's tied once again. This is a best of seven. Going to be here for at least four games considering this is round eight or quarterfinals basically. Quarterfinals of playoffs. Gets it around one. Keeps it midfield. Lux being patient. Smart here, letting Gerardo just tap it right to him as he tries to get it to his corner to leave it for Luna. Him and Des will double commit though. Sobel's able to get this mid solid shot coming out from a goal, but wasn't quite able, able to get the angle. Really good attempt. Black have a bit of an open net right there. It's looking a little dangerous, but. Even though they're, they're missing a couple things, they're, they're able to get at least the ball out of their box. Demo on Luna, though, is Despot gets a 50. It's midfield to Tobol. Wasn't even a threat, though. 
Puck's now leaving it for Decibel. He goes down the pitch. Can get a flip reset. Gets a 50 down. Lux chooses to go for a demo, I think, instead of getting the ball. Really smart play. Off to Luna. Midfield for Decibel. Way School's going to clear this out to the wall. Lux now trying to get this to Luna. He's able to get contact on that. Lux follows up. Luna gets a 50. Decibel has a net to shoot on. Just tapped away by Tobol. Less than a minute left. We're still tied up. I feel like AC Black, they've definitely kicked it up a little bit. They're, they're doing good. Ooh, the fake. The demo to finish it off. As I was saying, <laughs> they were looking good. Gerardo or Gerardo just fakes Lux. Luna didn't even stand a chance. Just deleted as he scores it into Black's net. Solid play from UT Dallas here. Wasn't even able to get contact on that. Lux clears it out. See what they're able to do with 30 seconds left in this match. Or in this game, rather. This will get the demo on the offender. Lux able to get it midfield. Able to get another touch, though. Luna trying to put it back up to him, but Verado's ready for it. Decibel. Trying to keep possession while also touching the ball. Wasn't able to quite do anything with it. It's looking a little dangerous as a Tobol. It's in round one. It's an open net for Wasteful to shoot on. That'll be the end of game one in this series. Bit of an unfortunate midfield scuffle there. That ended in another goal being put into Black's net rather than a chance for a counterattack. Flux now trying to do something with it. It looks like it'll be over at least for this one. <laughs> they might, oh, they almost got another one. <laughs> Solid pass from Waste Goal in the corner. Yeah, and UT, UT Dallas, pr pretty good. Like I was saying, this might be a tough match, but. I think Black, I mean, they had a lot of offensive opportunities. They just need to shoot on that and lock themselves in and just make sure that the rotations are solid because they, they were looking good. I mean, UT Dallas didn't have too much pressure there to, that they couldn't deal with. As we're waiting for uh, everyone to ready up here. Yeah, I hope everyone is doing good. Um, having a, an okay Monday. <clears throat> About a month left in this, of uh, of school for ASU, at least. Fortunately, there wasn't really any CRL this season, so we weren't able to have any of our teams, you know. Try and compete in that and stream any of that. So, you know, sorry that we couldn't have a more exciting season for you guys to watch. But basically, Nace is all we've been playing. And our gold team actually didn't hasn't even competed competed in Nace at all. If you've noticed, we've just been streaming Black and Rune a little bit in Nace, and then stream some gold matches here and there in the CECC tournament stuff, which all worked well. Maroon and Gold competed in. Yeah, Black and Maroon are doing nice. Maroon will have their first playoff match um, Thursday. Thursday at six is what they're. It was originally at eight thirty, but they're asking to reschedule it for six. So, if you want a time to watch the stream, maybe we'll be able to get. I guess we'll get, be able to get the stream going. If I don't have to play it, then I'll stream it too with them. Um, for yeah, for AC Maroon. That'll be a round of 16. They play in, they play in the open uh, open premiere though. This is open plus. Luna gets it in the top left to open up the scoring for AC Black in this game. Almost a solid angle from Decibel. Thankfully it was enough to get the ball down into the box and to take out the defender. As I've been yapping, Black have just been having all the pressure they need. Lux, bit of a fake or something. Not sure what he was doing there. That's we're trying to get it back down to Luna. Gets a 50 with Tobol. Luna now. 
Air dribbles it to midfield, left for Lux, bumps him a little bit on the way down though. That's will now. Around Dorado. Waste goes gonna clear it out though. Lux a bit of an anti uh, jump there, is able to keep it out of his net still though. Wastecoal clears this to the side. Almost a total. Demo. Let's see what Lux is able to do. Try to take a quick shot. So now get, gets to midfield. Lux isn't able to get that. Luna doesn't have boost. Messing up a little bit. So at least able to clear this out. To midfield as Dorado... Keeps it in their half. Lux now. He's able to fall. Leaves it for Decibel. Double? Ooh. He was gunning for that redirect. It's wasteful. Gets his Gerardo. And here we might have in a double. And he gets it under Lux. Solid shot. Solid placement. He knew that Lux was covering the top part of the net. So he hits it under him. Very solid play from ET Dallas here to tie it up. Was a chance here, Decibel. Just make an awkward jump. Lux is gonna bail him out. As all of ET Dallas was on their side, a bit of a breakaway opportunity here. Wasteful is able to get the boost though. Get this off to his teammates. Lux able, keeping this in play. Get the shot, and Dorado isn't able to save that. He gets a touch, but just goes right back up into his corner. Unfortunate for UT Dallas, but when your rotations just put all of you on def uh, all of you on offense, your defense is uh, looking a little lacking, and Black capitalized on that. Almost another opportunity as Lux forced to clear this back to Luna in his corner. Prado. Gets it down midfield. That's what's waiting though as he booms it back to UT Dallas' side. Well, now doesn't have boost. Gets it around one. Lux able to get this midfield. Decibel jumps for it. He's able to get back to it in time. It almost a bit interesting as they double committed, but. Unfortunately, Black keep this into a one goal deficit game. That's midfield. Back up to Decibel. Solid passing play. Lux is unfortunately the last man back, but he's got it covered. So far, Black looking even better. Their their defense is very on point, and there really isn't too many threats. There was a bit of a threat there if someone on UT Dallas side was uh, right there in the middle for it, but they've, they've looked very good. There's some double commits here and there, but I think that... So far, UT Dallas just the one team that's making more mistakes here. And that double commit, you know, to, to among other things. 40 seconds left in this game, and I just have to hold on. Not let them score anything. Wisco gets it midfield to Tobol. 50 with Decibel, though. Prado's forced to go on the back leg. And Lux just takes a shot off of his, and Oasicle just own goals, trying to clear this out of his box. Unfortunate play. Oasicle knew he had to jump for it, and he couldn't quite get under it to clear it to the right side. And that might be the nail in the coffin for game two here. Black will most likely tie this series up. Ooh, solid shot from Tobol. I'm not really sure what happened to Lux here. I think maybe he assumed it would hit ceiling quicker, and it just didn't. Either way, good play. 15 seconds left. Are UT Dallas able to do anything else to tie this up? Basically has possession. Luna pre-jumping him. This won't let any opportunity come out here. As Decibel gets a 50. It's off to Luna. Forced to jump as Grotto was looking for a bump, and it's down to waste. He pops it up, though, right up to Lux. Probably not the play there as Luna just clears it out. UT Dallas is able to keep it up. But Lux is able to get that down to the ground. So AT Black tied this series up. <clears throat> Thank you.
Yeah, Black definitely looked a little more solid that game. UT Dallas, not really sure what they can do. I mean, they just need to clean up their mistakes and like like Black was, was you know, struggling with the first game, just capitalize on those opportunities. You know, there's a couple open nets here and there that can... Wait, what's going on? Oh, shit, I'm in a team. <laughs> Uh, that's my, I, don't know what, I don't know what was going. I my brain was just autopiloting, and I uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what I was doing there. But um, anyway, Luna now has the ball in the corner. Uh, my fault, but uh, yeah, Lux now is able to get a 50. Tobol gets this around one. Luna 50s it goes midfield. That's well, not really sure what he's doing. Luna gets faked. Tobol now looking for a demo on Lux. Doesn't get anything though, as Despot's gonna take possession. And fake! Oh! Almost! Almost had a solid play there as fake just opened it up for him, but thankfully UT Dallas is, uh. Oh! <laughs> Let's say thankfully they were able to get back to it. There's almost a, another own goal coming out from them. Despot just being a menace right now. Flux putting it midfield to Luna. He's being patient. Really smart on him. Gets a dunk. That's what Lane Dorado hit it. Decides to jump anyway. Probably need, need to do that there is. Flux has possession. Gets it around one. It's an open net practically. If Dorado's unable to get back to him, he isn't. Solid cut from him getting it around Tobol. Dorado just isn't able to do anything on that play. out. Lux is able to clear it out though. It was right up to Verado. Pinch goes off to a waste school though. Ooh, shot coming out. 50's back to midfield. But Luna forces the defense to make some awkward moves. That's basically what Black has just been doing. They've, they've been just pressuring and shooting on the net regardless of whether they need to whether they can and forcing the defense to kind of crumble under their pressure they weren't able to take any uh, goals out from that push but I have a feeling they're going to get at least a couple more here is a solid solid block from Lux going up there Just keeping the defense locked down solid block from Luna Prado keeps it up keeping this on their side gets a flip reset Despel clears it to the wall, but Tobol's there. We're gonna try to get this out. Gets it around to Wasicle. Left for Despel. Gets a dunk. Lux shooting it. Gets it over one. Left for Luna. Isn't able to get around that. Lux now. Trying to do something with this. At least keep possession. Despel's gonna leave it for Luna. Do with Harado. Now, solid save from him. He's gonna keep with possession. Goes midfield to Harada though, as Luna. Forced to make an awkward save. At least gets it around two though. Has enough boost to get it midfield. Lux now. Had an open net to shoot on, but maybe just didn't realize or went too quick to get around it. Solid shot from Tobol. Decibel had the net covered, but he really wasn't sure where on net this ball was gonna go, so he just kinda had to predict it. And unfortunate for ASU Black, G Dallas is able to tie this game up. Goes midfield, Tobol, shot comes out, Luna isn't able to get to it. Let's see what happened here. And Herado just right off the kickoff, able to essentially make it a 3v1, and Luna just isn't able to do anything. It's just the speed there is all that really is coming out from UT Dallas. Lux gets this 50. Rod and will bump each other. That's supposed to window to do something. Trying to get it mid to Luna. Actually left out for Lux and he's almost able to do something. They're trying to get it back up to a zero goal game here. Luna couldn't do much with that. 
Lux gets a midfield to decibel. They're really struggling to create opportunities. They're, they're really trying, but UT Dallas is just... I don't know. This game, they're holding down the fort more better, I, I guess. Lux now. Right to 50. It's up for Luna. Gets it around, and the Sparato clears this out. And that was in their net. No one will be able to save that one. Black are definitely looking a little desperate as we go into the final game, or the final minute of this game. Third midfield, Gerardo. 50 off the backboard. Wasticle's there, and this one is not able to get good enough contact on that to clear this out. He didn't get contact at all, my bad. I figured they might have been able to touch it, just skimmed past him. Unfortunate. This game looks like it'll probably be going to UT Dallas. Seems able to get it mid, but Harada's is there for it. Luna, it will whiff. Lux forced to get this to the corner. Solid clear from Decibel, but they need a counterattack right now to stay alive in this game. Potentially force it to OT. Solid block from Lux, keeping this out of his net. They just don't have the boost, it seems, to clear this out and do anything with it as a waste call is an open net to shoot on. Lux just can't do anything. His two teammates aren't able to get the ball either. Not really sure what happened to AC Black this game. Maybe UT Dallas just picked it up and they figured out their defense and their mistakes, like I was saying. But Black definitely had less opportunities and they weren't able to score. And they had shots, but UT Dallas had more. Solid third game from Dallas. Let's see what Black is able to do to answer. I have to snooze ads here. Hopefully we're able to get through this series without having to run ads, because that'd kind of suck. But we should be okay. At least one more game. Once again, thank you for everyone for watching. I know this stream was kind of out of nowhere. We haven't been able to stream as much this semester, mainly because there really hasn't been a CRL. So, appreciate you guys. So we go into game four. Let's go eat. Yeah, they're they're doing solid right now. Ooh. Lux shot wasn't able to that on that, that's cool. Keeps us on their side. Being patient, gets it mid to Lux. It's just going for a double, gets a 50. Luna pre-jumping that, a little ambitious as one of his teammates is demoed. Lux is left in a bit of an awkward situation. That's was thankfully able to spawn in time and clear that out, but Tobol is keeping it in for a wasticle and it's just around the entire ASU Black team. Not really sure what Black can do about this. I mean, Wade School's just quicker to it. We love the. <laughs> I'm a Manchester United fan? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that means something or if you're just proclaiming that you're a Manchester United fan. Uh, you know, a good, good on ya. <laughs> Ooh, demo's coming out. Getting a bit, getting a bit scrappy in game four here. Let's see if Black are able to hold on and maybe tie this game up. It's waste goal. Actually leaves it for Luna. Prado now, getting it down midfield. Will takes a shot. He's gonna be able to save this. Lux now. He's able to get it around the waste goal. Decibel gets beaten out by Tobel. Black has some good offense, but they haven't really had any many opportunities in this push to score. As UT Dallas are just doing everything they can to keep it out, but as I say that, Decibel scores a, a shot from the top rope. Tobol, he was kind of forced to get that around Luna, and he just sends it straight up, and Decibel's an open net to shoot on. UTD stands for Ultimate Team Decimation. <laughs> Self-alter, yeah, let's go ASU. <laughs> Keep them 
nightmares? Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ugh. In fact, the waste school is a father of three. Really? If that is true, um, props to him for doing college and competing in Rocket League. You know, he's got a lot on his plate. TD feeds off the fear of their enemies. Three. Oh, okay. All three ASU players. Very funny. Very, very funny. I can see you guys are very passionate about your team and about your school. Love to see the school spirit here. And we have about half the game left here. As AC Black have been able to tie it up, but UT Dallas are back on the offense. So basically, get this off, gets off the back over. Lux is able to clear it out. Tobold putting in midfield. Rado jumping for it to keep it in their half. Really just solid and fast plays coming out from UT Dallas. The Black are just holding on. Once you start to ramp up the speed, I feel like Black are definitely able to able to hold on more than you think so. And you might actually awaken something with them within them, so be careful, but solid passing play leaves it for a waste goal in the middle. Bump on Luna in the back line. Ooh, a fake! If a waste goal just shot it there, I think that might have been on net for UT Dallas. Well, actually, it's cute. I have friends that went to ASU, they ended up homeless. What the hell? <laughs> this is pretty sure only thing UTD is good at, so we gotta represent. Gotcha. Prado, open net to shoot on. I don't. I don't know where Black is here. I don't. That's what putting in midfield. Lux is still in midair, and Luna thinking he can just catch that. Not really sure what happened there, but I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe maybe just awakened them getting a little too, a little too comfortable trying to create opportunities, and they just left the back half open. They can definitely play at a good fast pace, and I, I know that I know that they, you know, squandered that push opportunity, but they have an open that to shoot on here. Well, I thought it was open. The way school was able to save that, which was it was a very good save. Given that, I like the flash. You guys are hilarious, but Black is doing everything they can to tie this game up, and it's looking pretty rough. As Tobol gets a nice double and gets it around Lux, and struck by lightning. Yeah, no, I'm I'm with you on this one, honestly. These Dallas have just put it into high gear, and ASU have tried to do something with it, but they just can't. back down into our box and it's just a shot on net right around Luna can't do anything about it and it looks like UT Dallas is gonna run away with this game putting on the match point for them <laughs> we actually breastfed you when you were a baby Jesus Christ what are you guys like the cheerleading squad of UT Dallas Rocket League <laughs> who is this <laughs> Ugh. No, I mean, this. I knew this team would be difficult, and I knew that. Uh, oh, sh we have ads, unfortunately. Okay, well, we're gonna have to watch. We have to run these ads. Can't really do much about it.
Alright, I think we are back. Sorry about the little ad break there. Um, but I was able to basically make it, so at least the game... Needs, none of the game happened while we were in that little break. So we go into game five here. AT Dallas are on match point. Trouble trying to keep it a mostly trying to get a mechanical going here. But yeah, as I was saying, I knew UT Dallas would be a good team. Um, Luna scoring the first one. Let's see if they're able to do more than just score uh, the first goal in the game. As Dustbull gets a solid touch off the backboard. But yeah, I, I was just saying that UT Dallas, I know they're a good team, and this might be a bit difficult for Black. So, um, you know, I'm glad to at least see that the games are close, and we're, you know, we're coming out with a good series. Hopefully Black have just resetted their mental after that, after that game. They've had some good opportunities here. I mean, they're up one. Just have to keep this pressure. Luna tries to get around another. Left for Lux. That's what trying to demo, but it, Lux just has an open net to shoot on. Yeah, if they're able to just keep up solid rotations and pressure on each of Dallas' side, they, they might have still have a chance in this series. They're 2 0 now. It's a waste goal. Has a free ball after the kickoff. Doesn't flip off the seam. I don't know if he's able to get to the ball for a ceiling shot. But it's left for Harada now as he gets it around Luna. Lux whiffs that clear. It's left for Decibel as he's just trying to get back around to the ball. Luna trying to get to that as Decibel didn't have boost. This is right back to black side. Lux trying to clear that out. Way school. Back passing Tobol, but Lux cuts him. Let's see if Decibel's able to do anything with this. Gets a 50 off of a Waysicle. Auto getting it out to his teammate. Solid block from Decibel. Lux just takes a shot. Hercules in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I have her on speed dial. Hold on. <laughs> These commentators are so bite. What do you mean? I said UT Dallas are a good team. Gotta give him. Yeah. What? No, yeah. Dallas. I, I, I haven't been overly biased. Come on, dude. There are more biased streams. Have you seen the GCU stream? Go on, head on over there, alright? Come on. <laughs> Can you scream at the top of your lungs? Uh, usually me and Decibel commentate together, and, um, you know, obviously he can't be here because he's the one playing, but, yeah, usually he's the bit more of the loud one, and we kind of are able, able to feed, feed off each other more, and I'm, like, the more analytical one. So, I don't usually don't get too loud when I'm just solo casting, and I apologize for that, but, you know, I don't know why, I don't know why you all think I'm biased. Stream as loud as you can. You know, I do have roommates. I'm in a dorm building. I can't, like, <laughs> give us some analytics. Um, yeah, so we're 2 0. Uh, two, 2 minutes, 5 seconds left on the clock. <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, Black, they just completely reset mentally after this game. And what they're doing is just turning it. Like, you see there, like, Decibel's turning on everything. Luna, extremely confident in his teammate. And Dallas just weren't expecting to have these solid plays coming out from them. I mean, they, they turned up the speed in the previous games, but then they come back in the answer with some quick goals, and their confidence gets a bit down, and now they're on the back foot, right? So when they're on the back foot, they're not as, they're not as comfortable. You know, they're trying to make plays, and Black are thriving off of that. They're keeping the pressure, keeping the speed, they're keeping the rotations. Seth was able to clear this out. Dallas are putting up a fight, but aren't able to create too many opportunities as they all are forced to retreat here. It's because the name of the channel is AC Rocket League. Okay, well, yeah, it's our, it's our stream, yeah. What is the statistical probability that 87% of the boost is used in the first nautical half of the pitch? <laughs> nautical? <laughs> what about this is nautical? <laughs> <laughs> the jokes this lead. Uh, with a minute left, uh, extremely low, considering that they're just 
very fluid with the speed and pace that they're playing at. Even if they get scored on, it's unlikely to phase them. If they were to get like, you know, one and one, like tied up, like that would be a different story. But they have a three-goal cushion here, and I think they're going to take this game. So now it'll be UT Dallas's turn to reset, maybe take the next game. You think I could one v three? Yes, you. I don't know, man. It's a great question. UT Dallas have an opportunity here, and they are able to get one. 26 seconds left on the clock. No, it's not impossible. We get my peak rank. Oh damn, you guys are you guys are really uh really asking for that, man. I don't know. My name is Wind Waker. Um, you can you can honestly look that up if you want. If you want, really want to know my rank. Plat three max. Yeah. Plat three. That that's. You know, I think that's actually higher than what I've... <laughs> we do our research, yeah. You guys do your research out there. This is a big, big research college. Oof. Alice unable to get a second one. So we move into game six here. <clears throat> what are the ranks of the team? Um, Decibel is a solid GC2. Um, Luna is... Sit right there with them. Maybe a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit lesser though. Lux, I'd say a little bit above decibel, right? Getting to that GC3 range. Very mechanical. Lux is definitely our most mechanical on this squad. Why can't decibel spell his name right? Um, cause he's just cool like that, right? He has to be edgy and spell his name with no vowels. I mean, right? That's what sweaty rocky players do, you know? Uh, four letters or less, right? Period? That's Lux. Yeah, I don't know why his name is period right now. Whatever, I don't I don't know. He's 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 normally he's normally normal, we'll put it that way. <laughs> you gotta show the girls Rocket League tractor. Over under one point five total. <laughs> what? I don't know what I don't know what is up with y'all right now, but hey, I at least appreciate you coming out and watching the stream. Um, but yeah, AC Black solid showing from them. Let's see if they're able to take this to match point though, as this is game six. AC Dallas still just have to win this one, win this series, and go up in the semifinals of this uh, NACE playoffs. Rado getting it midfield to a wasicle. He's not able to do much with it. Leaves it for Tobel though, who just sends it off to the backboard. And Decibel trying to get that, but he ends up just basically pinching it with a wasicle. An unfortunate play there. Lux was assuming that that shot was going to be on net, and it wasn't. Decibel unable to do much with it. University of Alaska. <laughs> okay. Get around one though. Tobel gets it off to his wall. Rado kind of hitting it around a waste goal, almost giving a free net for Decibel. Lux is just able to get it off to the ceiling. Luna's gonna bail him out here. Let's see what he's able to do. It's challenged by Hirado. Goes off to the backboard. Decibel's 50. Goes off to the backboard again. Lux isn't able to do anything with that. Luna trying to get this midfield. It's a little high for. That's what we'll do anything with that. Tubble gets it off to Verado. This will gonna keep this in their half. High school now. Getting this into their corner. Tubble unable to get a second touch on that. Lux unable to double. Solid pass from Verado right down at the way school. Tries to do something with it, but isn't quite able to. Tobel's gonna keep this in their half though. Well touch from Walksby Decibel now. Couldn't quite double it. This will clears this to midfield. And Luna is able to get a block but doesn't have the boost to do anything else. Lux just sending it down the pitch. T Dallas seems like they're just playing 
very cautious. They don't want to make any mistakes. They don't want to overcommit. They have their one goal lead, and they just want to hang on to it. And if Black isn't able to do anything like score an open net right there, <laughs> uh, then might just end the game with a, with this one goal lead. Unfortunately, Luna had that corner to shoot on, but just couldn't quite get around it. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, you don't need to say all that in chat. I don't really care about you knowing my rank, but, you know, it's a little excessive. <laughs> Your full name, date of birth, and social. Alright, so my, my sw- <laughs> kidding. I'm not sure what's going on here. I had, had a good opportunity there, but they're all just kind of misplaced on that offense. Not really able to get around to the ball and shoot on that. It's a wasteful now. Trying to create out another opportunity. Ooh, open net for Lux. He's able to get it there. <laughs> Not hoggers, yeah. Well, Black are able to tie it up. Dallas might be playing less cautious now. They might uh, kick it into high gear again. Try and bring back this lead. Lux gets this down to mid to decibel. Luna now. Baseball gets it around him. Isn't able to get this double. It's a solid shot. Lux is able to get this to his corner though. Isn't able to do anything with that. Baseball gets it around Harado. Baseball gonna bail out Tobol here. Take possession for himself. Lux hitting it off to the wall. Tobol trying to get a double. Odd breakaway again. Thankfully, UT Dallas is able to get back to it in time, though. Luna gets it around one. I was going to try and keep this on their half, though. Definitely a fight for midfield right now. Black trying to get some pressure going. Sobel clears this back to his teammate. Wasteful has done a very good job of keeping possession for his team. I'd say he's definitely the star player, it seems, on this squad. As uh, I don't know what just happened, but... <laughs> what? <laughs> Luna, touch goes to backboard, Deathful takes possession, and just unfortunate plays from Dallas. Midfield in front of their box, and they aren't able to get to it before Luna is. Now in 1v2, gets a double 50 on him. Solid defense from him. Great pass, yeah. Yeah, that, that was a bit unfortunate, but now all Black have to do is just hold out for 25 seconds. We'll take it to game 7. It's a waste of gold. Gets this off of Lux's touch. Decibel now. Trying to keep this out. Proud of trying to be patient with this. Trying to draw Black out and see if they can create an opportunity. Ooh, and they almost were able to score, but that's a goal line save from him. That might just be it. That push is gone, and this was going to go to game seven. Can you wish my son Timmy a happy birthday <laughs> during life? Is everyone on UC Dallas just complete, just troll, like, you, you want, like, <laughs> is this why, we were asked, like, oh, are you guys streaming, and then, and, uh, Decibel's like, oh, are you streaming, and like, yeah, sure, I guess I'll stream, and like, apparently, you, apparently, uh, your team wanted all y'all to just come in here, <laughs> See, a waste goal is throwing specifically because he uses the Dominus. Um, yeah, I would say that the Dominus isn't, you know, as prominent of a car nowadays as it used to be, but I think he's, I think he's doing great. I mean, he's, you know, cutting off his teammates a little bit too much here and there, but I think, uh, I think he's definitely been keeping this series alive for his team. <laughs> we brought ourselves, it's like, nah, bro. We just hate, we just looked at, we looked up that we hate ASU, we looked it up, we're like, nah bro, we're just gonna specifically, 
do ASMR. <laughs> that's John, that's from really, yeah. It's like, I, I'm just here, man. I'm just here, I'm just here to watch. Like, I don't know. <laughs> we do, we are in game seven. This has been a series. Black have been fighting tooth and nail to bring this back, and it has been, has been quite a ride. Accessible clears this down the pitch. Prado gets it right around him, though. Luna getting it down. Locks down with one. Luna gets around another. Gets around a wasicle. That's what doesn't have any boost. Still committing on that play. That's just your average decibel play right there. As Lux's 50 goes straight back into their box. Prado getting it off the mid or off the backboard, getting it midfield. And bicycle hits it right over decibel. White wasn't able to beat him out there. Even if he was able to get the ball, that 50 would have probably gone in a wasteful's favor. Total now is able to get this to their side. Wasteful just trying to get it around one. That's now committing on that play to try and get the ball out. High risk, high reward. Thankfully, Lux is able to keep this out of their net. When it hits it up, but it's right to wasteful. Gets a solid shot on net. Just boosting all the way through. Hits off the ceiling, right back down. Right around decibel. ACU's backwards. Are you <laughs> you're very funny. Illuminati confirms. I don't know what are you what are you even talking about? <laughs> oh, y'all are just hilarious. Uh -huh. Anyways. UT Dallas, looking very good here. Lux unable to get that double. Desley at least puts a shot on net. Is able to solidify this opportunity for ASU. Keeping this game alive. I'm not gonna do any ASMR, I'm sorry. Um, if you subscribe, <laughs> if you actually, if you give me 500 bits, <laughs> I don't, you don't need to do that. I'll follow. No oh, man, I don't know if that's enough. <laughs> Luna, almost a break for opportunity. Gerardo's able to get back to it though. This 50 goes straight back to Lux Wall. Lux, bit of a whiff there. Luna, able to get this round one. Decibel, hitting it back up to Lux. Doesn't have enough boost to go for the double. Wiskull's able to clear this out. Gets it around two though. Prado trying to keep this out of his box. Luna almost going for a shot there. Would have been amazing if he got that angle. So we're keeping this midfield. Prado just takes a shot. Luna's able to keep this out of his box though. Oof. A little whiff on Decibel's part. Dallas still have this push and Luna almost threat and bump, but thankfully that's was able to bail him out. Can you play Hell Tigers 2 next? Oh my god. There's enough Twitch stream streaming that game for you to go and watch. This is Rocket League, guys. Come on. Come on. This is Rocket League! <laughs> Hux now with the ball. It's round two. See what he does with it. Forces a 50. Put it on for a demo there. He can't really do much else with that, and his teammates are ready behind him to score. Can you cast if you're a British commentator? Can we get feet? <laughs> oh my god, y'all, y'all, oh my god. Really good save from Oasicle. Holy cow. That was, that was goal line if I've ever seen it. And he is just doing everything to keep this at a one goal deficit game. Prado almost getting a goal there. Oh, it's an open net though, and Black caught off on the rotations. Decibel puts his midfield. Lux trying to get back to it. Luna went went for boost. Australian oh, accent. Uh. This is uh this is not looking too good for Black. One minute left in this game. 
and Decibel tries to create something, can't get a pinch, just puts it up for Flux, and he's... I, I don't know how this play works, to be honest, but apparently it does. He gets it under Harado. Oasical jumps for this. Okay, that's my fault. I didn't realize Oasical jumped. He did not need to jump for that. <laughs> he got faked out a little bit there, and now back to one goal deficit, but still 55 seconds left with UT Dallas in the lead. Decibel gets this off to the wall, lays it for Luna. Gets it off the backboard. Lux gets it back down to Luna, and there we go. It is tied up. <laughs> okay. All right. Wait. Hey, where are the mods? Eh? Where are the mods? <laughs> Come on, guys. No, it's not what it's saying. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's it's tied now. Yeah, if you look at the top of the screen, it says three and three. <laughs> Oof, that was almost dangerous. Luna was able to get back to it, though. <laughs> ASU backwards USA. It actually is. Did you know that ASU is the biggest public university in the USA? Did you know that? It's true. Lux's shot is just right in between the two defenders. Aren't able to get to that one. Lux has a good clear, but isn't able to get up to it. And Tobol and Harado are just watching the ball basically go right in. 20 seconds left, all Black has to do is hold on here. Luna hits this up though, right at Torado, and he gets the midfield for a goal. That's what gets it around him though. 10 seconds left. Demo on one, fake on another. Wayskull's able to get this ball out, but it's looking almost dangerous for a fourth there, and regardless, ASU come back from a 3-1 scoreline in this series and win in this uh, quarterfinals of NACE playoffs. <laughs> Rigged? I don't know. I think uh, I think ET Dallas, you know, they just took the L here, you know. They they took they took the L. It was a really great series. I mean, honestly, both teams played very very well. I mean, you know, you can nitpick here and there, but honestly, I mean, it was just fair fair series all around. Reporting you for Toxic. <laughs> yeah. See how that goes. Uh, we 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 post vods, by the way. <laughs> Unprofessional as well. Thank you for yeah. Oh, basically, you, you played really great, man. GGS, what a series. Thank you to everyone who watched. See the 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 dude actually playing on your team, coming in here and being you know being nice. Come on, guys. No, but uh, I think that'll be it for this stream. Um, GG's to UT Dallas, and um, I think the next round of playoffs is Thursday, I think. <laughs> Let me look here. Quarterfinals was today. Semis will be April 8th. Okay, so next week, one week from now. It's uh, it's Maroon. It's Open Premier. It's our Maroon team that's playing Thursday in the round of 16. But yeah, semifinals against... I think we'd either play... I don't know who we, who we would play. Let me look. I don't even know if it would... Yeah. I'm not sure which bracket we're in, even. There we are. Wait, we're in the first one. Oh, okay. We're in the SSL and below one. Yeesh. So we're going to go against Akron Club Gold. That one will be difficult, I think. They beat out GCU today. 4-2 scoreline. Yeah, that, that one will be difficult. But that'll be next Monday. Still waiting for ASMR. I'm not. I'm not gonna do ASMR. I'm sorry. Good luck on those platforms. Thank you. I've you know I I I fought pretty hard for them. See you in ranked. Can you sign my Steam account? Um, I don't know what your Steam is. I'm sorry. GG from the captain of AC Black here. Decibel. 
Yeah, GG's to everyone who played. Really great series. Mod? <laughs> you think a cute dog is going to give you mod? It's, it's adorable, but no. But no. <clears throat> okay. Well, I think that's going to be it. Uh, catch ASU Black next week. That, <laughs> no, not, that's not, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bobby. I'm sorry. On, on Steam, please. Sign. That's <laughs> we won. Uh, black one, AC Black. Yeah, our our team. We 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 won. It was rigged. Yeah, it we we actually cheated. Yeah, we hacked and we um we gave our team infinite boost the whole time, and that's the only reason we won. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stop for an extra hour of stream. What of of Steam? What? What what am I gonna do for an hour? <laughs> you pulled our power. Yeah, we cut the power cord. Yeah, clip it. <laughs> clip it. He said it. <laughs> get this. Get this man out of here. You speak to him. Um. Um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Y'all are just incorrigible. Alright, but once again, really appreciate it. Thank you to those who followed. Um, we had Undead Thanos, Genesis, and Bobby Boucher that followed us today. Thank you so much. If you haven't followed the stream yet, please do. We're going to try and stream ASU Maroon Thursday. Uh, they'll be doing their round of 16 playoffs for, for NACE. And next Monday, once again... Uh, will be black in the semifinals of their playoffs against Akron Club Gold. So be there for that. See you, everyone.